Hi everyone, welcome back to Business 100. Now that you've done all of your reports, it's time to talk about what you do with your business idea if you want to make a pitch to your investors. So we're going to do a mini pitch presentation, just a really short, what's called a pitch deck. And that will be a PowerPoint slideshow that you will upload as a file, PowerPoint file. So what I'm looking at right here in the Canvas shell is the actual assignment. So you can see right here it says pitch presentation. And there's a couple of bullet points for you to follow. And a pitch works best when you use a problem solution format. So what's the problem and what solution are you offering? So the problem might be people are afraid of germs. Go figure, right? And what's the solution? I have a new kind of hand sanitizer. Great. Let's get some of that. Is there demand? Certainly there's demand right now. Who are the customers? Well, pretty much anybody right now would be your customers. But remember, we want to break it down into niche markets. So um, hospital workers, sanitation workers, moms, families, um, when people go back to work, maybe uh, restaurant workers, people working in takeout. So we always want to break it down into our niche markets, right? What's your unique competitive advantage? Maybe you found a hand sanitizer that doesn't dry out your skin. That would be great. Or maybe it's fast acting. Maybe it lasts longer. So whatever your idea is, just go ahead and step it through this format. Now, one of the questions is, if you're pitching an investor, why is that investor likely to gain a return on their investment? They want to see a profit. And that means usually that you have to be able to do what's called scale, bring it up to speed bring it up to economies of scale. So I'm going to make a lot and be able to distribute it to a wider, broader target market. One of the things that I think is really interesting since we're talking about hand sanitizer, that was just my example right now, is that um, in San Diego, craft breweries, which are geared up to make things based on alcohol, are converting, in some cases, their operations and their production to make hand sanitizer. Why? It's alcohol-based. So they already have the scale. That's what makes it easier for them to convert their operations. So they're already in a place to make it, manufacture it, distribute it. So if you're investing in that, you're likely to get a return on your investment. What's the business legal structure that you're going to use? So you, you might want to go back and review um, sole proprietorship, partnership. Are you going to be some type of a corporation? And then what we're going to do is we're going to develop a pitch. So that's the assignment. I'm going to show you a sample pitch deck in just a moment. You'll see that this is just our final assignment. It's worth 20 points. I want you to have some fun with it, but I recommend that you use a PowerPoint slideshow. All right. What is a pitch deck? So this will walk you through 12 slides. You might not need all 12 slides. You can probably get this done in nine or 10 slides. But basically an introduction, who are you and what are you doing? Now you might have a team, you might just be doing this solo. So if it's just you, you can manage that. You might want to combine one and two and just um, say who you are in your introduction. If you're going to bring on a team, then you can talk about that. Now, this should look familiar. I just said, what's the problem? So define the problem. Now, what's your competitive advantage? What makes you special? So this should sound somewhat familiar to you because you took your business idea through report one and report three. So you've essentially answered all of these questions. We're just going to package it as a little slideshow, as a, as a pitch. All right, so your problem, your advantages, your solution. And then go ahead and give a little more detail about your product or service. What is it that you're doing? Now, traction and marketing go hand in hand. You might actually want to combine these into one slide if it's easier for you. So this is your market. This is why you feel like you can gain sustainable support within that 
market, right? So in other words, my market is moms who are worried about germs. Why am I gonna get traction in that market? Everybody wants that hand sanitizer right now, right? So a measurable set of customers that um, proves that there's potential for you to do business. So these two things go hand in hand, traction and market. In terms of competition, you might wanna do a little quick industry analysis, right? And then um, your business model. Your business model is really your business legal structure, but also your schedule of operations. So um, how are you going to bring it up to economies of scale? Don't get too far into the weeds on this. Go back to the reports that you've done. This is just a sample template. So you can combine seven and eight for marketing. This is just your industry analysis. Business model, think about operations and also your business legal structure. Now, in terms of investing, usually with a small business, you have to put some money in in addition to your investors. Nobody's gonna to wanna to support you 100%. So you can talk about, I'm gonna be a, a small partnership. I'm putting in a little bit of money. My partner's putting in a little bit of money and we'd like our investor. So maybe it's gonna be one third, one third and one third. Or maybe you and your partner are gonna put in one third and you're looking for an investor to pick up an additional two thirds. You might get a small business loan and you might wanna have um, an investor who helps you in addition to the small business loan. So you just have to come up with a budget. Now, again, this is somewhat hypothetical because I'm not asking you to do the business for real, but I will tell you that the best pitch, like any good report or business, the best pitch has the most detail. So think about these, think about these questions, um, as you work through it. Your contact information, you could actually wrap that into your introduction or you could put a brief slide at the end. So I'm guessing that you can get this um, pitch deck down to maybe 10 slides out of 12, but, but here you have it, right? So um, your pitch deck, and because I'm having trouble fitting this whole thing on one screen, Right up here, you can see if you want to go to the uh, URL yourself, it's called pitch deck, improvepresentation.com slash what is a pitch deck. And that will take you right to this little slideshow. Okay, so that's your final um, assignment. It's just a quick PowerPoint now that you've done. You've done really the heavy lifting. This is just to tie it all together. Have fun with it. And it has been great working with all of you. Be healthy and stay safe.